Hello. Let's go take a drive. You want to go in the flatlands or you want to go in the hills? Let's go in the hills. Good choice. Good choice. Let's go to the hill country of Texas. Well, we'll be going the, well, the long way because it's about 20 miles to the hills, but we'll head that way. But having said that, what are we going to talk about? Whatever pops into my little skinny little empty head. So today, oh, I did a video the other, well, I don't know when it was or when it went up, but it was called a RVing an oops moment. It was, anyway, this couple, they had a, a class A motorhome with a toad, you know, with the electric brakes and all that stuff. And uh, they took the exit that doesn't exist from Fort Clark Springs, Texas, to Highway 31, 131, Texas. Yeah, and they, they couldn't turn around. Well, they could, but they had to unhook the tow vehicle. But anyway, enough said what my point of this is, a point in all directions is a perfect circle, but what it is is this. Whenever you're out RVing, you know, can you 100% trust Google Maps and your whatever else you use, your GPS? And the answer is no, it's, they're good. I'll give them that, you know, Google Maps is spot on 90% of the time, but that 10% time that it ain't, it's, <laughs> that old gal will take you to hell, I'm telling you. Uh, but be that as it may, yeah, because I was coming back from New Mexico one time in my Prius, and uh, I was going to come through Lubbock, Texas, and south, and I was going to stay at a Motel 6 in Lubbock, Texas, which I did. But to get, I was coming from the west to the east on some highway, and then she turned me to the le left off out into the boonies, and here we go down one lane paved roads and gravel roads and <laughs> it might have been shorter i will give you that it might have been shorter but i have to tell you i was not pleased with all that so anyway beware you know using uh gps and stuff because you can get really in trouble not in trouble but in places you may not want to be like the back part of town and when you're boondocking if you're looking for a boondocking site yeah that GPS can get you right there, but it doesn't show you the mountain between you and your campsite. So enough said about that. And what else is going on? Guys, I feel good all over, more than anywhere else, and life ain't bad. I'm going 30 miles an hour here, and that'll probably be how fast I go until somebody comes up behind me. But you have noticed all the traffic in Brackettville, Texas at 9.48 a.m. on a Thursday morning, okay? Apparently the eight o'clock rush is over. It's always over. There is no eight o'clock rush. I mean, three cars? No, I don't know. It, it may be a little busy, but ain't much. So we'll cruise on out here a little ways. Yeah, this is headed towards the Texas Hill Country. Actually, this goes to uh, Kickapoo State Park, Texas, 25 miles, I think. Is that what it is? 22 miles to Kickapoo Cavern State Park. It's only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think. And uh, it's a pretty interesting place. And then if you go past there on this same road, you go right on into Rock Springs, which is still in the middle of nowhere. But having said that, I got to take, I got me a, a diet Dr. Pepper with some big red. And uh, why did I get it on a cold day like this? Well, it's not that bad right now. It's 43, uh, 43 degrees temperature and uh, the sun is trying to come out. It's almost getting bright enough. And uh, so, yeah, we're just cruising. We're just taking a, a talking drive here, guys. I ain't got nothing brilliant to say. And if I accidentally do, well, write it down because it may never pass this way again. There's a sheriff on the left, Kenny County people, and he always checks me out. I'm surprised he's not doing it now, but Maybe he's seen, maybe the 10th time it dawned on him. You know, that's that old boy from Fort Clark Spring. Doesn't matter, he's a nice guy, he's just doing his job. So what else have we got here? Uh, oh, here's one I was gonna touch on. You know, we've t I've talked about several, uh, several, yeah, probably several times about how to find a home base and all that crap. And, and uh, really the easiest way to do it is find a place and buy it. You know what I mean? That cuts all the crap out. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, I can make a long story out of it. You know, you do this, do that, do that. But basically, you find your place, you're like, buy it. You know what I mean? And that's the end of that one. But something else I found 
I was checking on Quartzsite, Arizona. Of course, during the winter, it's packed, okay, because it is a it's a pretty good wintering place. The temperatures there are about the same as they are where I am in Brackettville or Fort Clark Springs, Texas, which are right together. And uh, yeah, so I thought, well, you know, hell, uh, let's let's look at that. So I did. I looked at the climate data for both places, you know, side by side. And uh, yeah, uh, it is very close to the same. Uh, the summers suck and the winters are okay, you know. And, uh, but the good thing about the Quartzsite area, uh, they have some beautiful drives around there and beautiful views. You know, you get out in the boonies there and you're in the desert, high desert. Well, it's not that high. And believe it or not, I think the elevation of Quartzsite, Arizona is 879 feet, which is certainly not a, a mountain top, you know what I mean? And uh, then, but, 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 yeah, it's a, the year round climate is uh, the summer, four months a year suck. Okay, that, that's the summer stuff. But the rest of the, the year is, is not bad. You know, they, they it, 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 as far as a uh, home base, like I use my Capitan home base uh, in the summer, uh, yeah, uh, get you, you can buy, you know, they have places for sale there. You don't just have to go out there and boondock. You know, the population of that town's over 2,000. They've got, now, they got a little grocery store and stuff. It ain't much. And the price of everything's damn expensive. But they've got some other little towns around there, Lake Havasu, and there's one due north. I don't remember the name of it, about 25 miles. And its population, now, hell, I think it may be 20,000, the one that's north of Quartzsite. But yeah, it's got everything you need, 20 minute drive. So yeah, you'd be good. And the price of uh, land and spots there, not bad. I, I saw one, it was, uh, it was in a, uh, uh, kind of a park thing, uh, RV thing, but it, uh, they had, uh, you had, you owned your own lot and the lots were uh, 30 by 80 or something like that. Not very big. And, uh, but there was one, uh, that and had a concrete, had a concrete pad, a couple of little storage rooms, full hookup, you know, water, sewer, and electric. And it was like 55,000. Well, you know, that's not ridiculous for a full hookup site. You know what I mean? And the POA was, $75 a month or $900 a year, which probably gives you uh, water for free and uh, trash, for sure trash, but water, I don't know. You'd have to pay your own electric for sure. But yeah, but yeah, see if you, well you can't really see straight, well you might be able to see it better than I think, but straight ahead is the Texas Hill Country. And as you've seen so far, we've seen one car and it was parked, it was a sheriff, deputy sheriff, damn it, here's to you, here's to me. Yeah, I'm planning on doing a, well, I mean, let's see, I don't, I don't know when this video is going to come up. But, but I'll just schedule it, you know what I mean? But as far as Beer 30, Friday Night Live, I don't know, I've probably already done one before I put this video up. I hope it went okay. Enough said about that. And, uh, but be, be, I keep saying be that as it may, don't I? I say that a lot. Well, why do I say that a lot? Well, because that's the kind of guy I am, and that's enough said about that. Okay. So, Thursday morning, 42 degrees, not bad. It's, it's better than 32 degrees, I'll tell you that. And we, we didn't have any wind, though. We, we had very little wind. I went walking every morning on my full walk. Was I cold? Yep, yep. I sure was. <laughs> it was cold. Ain't no doubt about that. But not real cold. I bundled up pretty good, wore my gloves, you know, but the normal common sense things you would do. So, how are you? I hear you. I hear you. Everybody's fine. That's good. That's good to know. And uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, I was going to change the appointment with my doctor, my medical type doctor at Uvalde. But I've, I've left three messages now. Nobody calls back. I mean, it's scheduled for March the, I don't know, March the 10th or somewhere. And I thought, well, hell, I'll go ahead and get it done in February in case I want to go somewhere in March. And uh, so, but those things went. And then I called the girl in for the dermatology uh, thing. I was going to change it to February. And she said, nope, can't do it. February's full. And March is full. If you change your appointment, you'll have to move it to April or May. And I thought, man, are these damn doctors that busy? Sheesh. You know? Well, I guess they are. And you know, they're certainly not. Well, hell, to get to, to get a doctor because I haven't had one in years was kind of an exercise in itself. 
but I got one. I got one now. Do I need? I don't know. Am I going to go to the appointment? I don't know. Because it's just the Medicare physical thing, that free thing they do. I don't know what they check. Here's a herd or a tribe or a flock of buzzard here. Must be something good eating now. I think I'll take me some ketchup and get out there and get with them. Shit. I mean, if it's that good. I mean, well, they all flew right back, too. Yeah. They all had their little napkins around their neck. They got a little dining table over there. <laughs> you believe that? Sure you do. I wouldn't lie to you. Anyway, we're just cruising, guys, to keep from snoozing, right? <laughs> cool morning, but not bad. The it's starting to cloud up a little bit. And, uh, let's see, we'd be going. Let me think here. This is not west. Uh, I'm going to say it would be north going north. Yeah, we're going due north right now. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out, and it's on my speedometer right there in big letters. North! I mean, yep. Alright. Off to the right there is where they have the the old Maka, the old uh, Alamo stuff. Uh, you can't get in there. you got to have an appointment and all that crap. used to be you could pay a little fee at a visitor center they had there. They had a little box that you paid. And uh, anyway, we're moving along here, guys. A lot of important stuff in this video. You're going to get a lot of this. But is it good? It ain't bad. It ain't bad. I can sit here and drink my soda and cruise down the highway at 40 miles an hour and life ain't bad. And I, t I, t I, I turned off that fancy adaptive cruise control. I mean, I turned it all the way off. Yeah, mine is pure manual now. We're getting into the rolling hills here. See, oh, and that other drive on the talking road. Oh, this is the Alamo place there. See that little booth there? That's where you used to go by and pay. But it, it's never, well, now we got a little sprinkle of rain. That ain't fair. What, is, what? Did I tell you to rain? If you don't coop. Jeez. I mean, who would have thought of that? It did say that it was going to rain about 10 a.m. this morning, and it's about 9.58, so I guess they're pretty close. So, on and on we go, guys. Oh, yeah, but as far as a home base, down to the quartz site wouldn't be that bad. I'm telling you. Then have you a place to go in the summer. Or if you like hot and dry, you may love it. As you get older, you're a lot more tolerant of heat, at least I am and others, than you are of cold. Cold just kills me, man. Like these last three days here have just been cockatoro, man. I mean, just crap. I've been just a really fine drizzle, you know, and the temperature about 34. Jeez cloudy as hell. Man. Oh, something else I found out about quartzite in these areas where there's a lot of sun, a lot of sunshine, is they're the healthiest places to live. Why? Well, because of the vitamin D. Your immune system helps your immune system. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I read about it. Why? Because I was thinking about buying that place. And uh, quartzite. Can I afford it? No. Do I have the money? No. But I can drain. Shit. I mean. Away we go again, ladies. If there was one thing I could change in my life, and I had a magic wand, what would it be? Well, I just had, I just say peace of mind, total contentment. Whatever I want, I want. If you had one wish, you could wish for a million more wishes, but then you'd have to be careful because you may say something one time like, man, I wish they were gone. And they, and boom, they're gone. You can't get them back. No. Well, you could say, I guess they wish you were there back. Good video, huh? Well, that's what you pay for, man, ladies. Oh. Pay for my deep thinking, philosophical, 
wise, well thought out, well scripted video. Every time. I never screw up. I never give you a video that is just rambling crap. You know? Never do that. Because it's not fair. Hear me crunching on the eye problem. That speaker on that phone is damn sensitive, I guarantee you. But this is a busy road, isn't it? We'll let this go a little while and let y'all enjoy a road without traffic because you may live in an area where you rarely see anything like this. This is the way I enjoy living, and that's why I'm here. Hello. Could I do this in Quartzsite? I imagine. May have to go out on the BLM drive around. Can I do this in Quartzsite? It's given Capitan, New Mexico. Yep, there's several roads, very similar to this. Very little traffic. Do I go on them? Yep. And now that I only pay about the six, I'm averaging. Let me see if I show it here. My lifetime average is 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So, a kilowatt hour costs me 14 cents on the high side. So, if you divide that by 4.5, That'll give you my cost per mile, which is about three cents or so. If you have a car that gets, well, in Texas right now, if you had a car that got 32 miles per gallon, it would be costing you 10 cents a mile. If you had a hybrid getting 40 or whatever, then you'd be a little less, but you're not going to be. I think they figure the equivalent of this is about 100. 20 miles to the gallon. It doesn't bother me. I mean, my, my electric bill for the month of, of uh, February, excuse me, wrong, 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 January at Fort Clark Springs for the entire month, of course I was in the RV, was $84. Now you got to remember that $40 of that is just an availability fee. So my actual usage of electricity for an entire month was $44. And that included charging this car. You got me? Keeping the battery full. Is that cheap? Jeez. Man. Before I got this, my gasoline bill was $100 a month. Easy. What am I doing with all that money I'm saving? Buying more beer, more wine. Good investment. Isn't this nice though? It's critical. There's nothing. This is a, that's the Department of Public Safety. Now he probably gonna come after me, or he may have come check me out. Why? Because they get bored sitting there, man. They sit there all day long. You notice on this road there are we've seen two now law enforcement people, one's a sheriff, one's a, a uh, department of public safety. But on the other road we go on, the talking road, you don't see them over there. Why? Because this road bypasses checkpoints. There's no checkpoint on this. Well, is it? But I think there is. I'll take it back. Right at the end of this, right at the end, of this road before you turn right to go to Rock Springs, I think they have a border patrol checkpoint. I do. And I have total recall. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to shoot this horse before it dies. Before I hear y'all yawning and stretching and scratching. <laughs> I know you're doing it. Cut that crap out. Let me get around these mountains here. See these mountains coming up? Got snow on them. Yeah, these are probably all of 1,200 feet. I think the elevation of Fort Clark Springs is 1,000 feet. 
I can't believe it's 200 feet higher than Quartzsite, Arizona. But you see this winding road through the mountains here? Scary, isn't it? I will say something about the electric car. Whenever you're running the heat like I am now, it really uh, affects the range. Because right now it shows for the electric, uh, your distance, because right now it's showing you're driving it and accessories are using 83% of the energy and 17% is climate settings, which is the heater. And uh, well, I did have the uh, steering wheel heater thing on. Once we get over this mountain, I'll end the video. Got some beautiful views out here in these hills for me. Look across here. I looked at a place out here on the right that had uh, 10 acres for sale. But no water, no nothing. Just blank land, and it was a little overpriced. A little over. It's like 75000 bucks. <laughs> but, but what they were selling was the view. The view. Anyway, guys, from this busy highway, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, car, pay deal, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind and enjoy your life. And if you have a road near where you live that you can cruise along at 40 miles an hour without any traffic at all, it's a pretty good way to enjoy a morning. Just a short drive. And since my car is, let's see, I'll make this trip today be 40, round trip 40 miles, so it'll be, uh, cost me a dollar and 20 cents. <laughs> pretty cheap, huh? Pretty cheap entertainment. Anyway, guys, adios. Let me get over this next mountain here. I don't want to let go of the wheel. Too dangerous. Getting up here in this rarefied air, we're probably... 1700 feet now, maybe 16. Anyway, guys, enjoy your life. Adios. Bye.